right, what up, y'all? YouTube, how we doing? Big C Chunky Boy Customs. All right, so another video today. I'm back out here on the Cummins. Uh, my previous video, uh, go check that out. Put a link up in here somewhere. Uh, I took the bed off, and in preparations to get to the fuel sending unit, when I swap that out. So. Yesterday, like I said, I took that off, and today I'm out here with it, and we're going to see about getting it cleaned up. I'm not going to go too much in detail. I'm just going to knock off all this dust and crap off and clean it up because I don't want to, especially around in this area, I don't want to take this off and then have stuff fall in there inside the diesel and get all in the motor. But, and while I got it off, I might as well just clean up as much as I can. So... Yeah, I'm going to put y'all up on the tripod here, and I'm going to hit it with the pressure washer and try to get it all good to go. Now, I don't know if it really matters. I doubt it matters because this stuff gets wet when you're driving down the road and stuff in the rain, but I kind of just took all the electrical and trailer and brake light stuff, and I kind of housed it up in this water bag, in this plastic bag. I'm not going to hit it directly with the pressure washer. Uh, I just got it so just in case any little water gets in there, we'll see. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, put y'all on there and uh, we'll see how we do it. So, I want to show you what is going on with this. So, my fuel gauge. Hey, how you doing? How's your mom in there? Anyway, so, watch. Put the key in. There is my my fuel gauge yawn and yeah nothing give it a second and the light should come on boom and I do have plenty of fuel in there. I should have at least a half a tank. At least. So. That is why we're going to fix this. Hopefully today. From my understanding. It is just. A plug and play deal. Undo this big nut. Unplug this. Unplug that. Unplug that. Drop the new one in. Plug it in, plug it in, plug it in, boom. But we shall see. So be back in a second. The pack is pretty nice. Got some little. Bubble wrap, I guess you call it. Like a new gasket. And this pigtail. Hmm. That's cool. A new 
float mechanism. That's what uh, goes like this and shows the actual reading of how much is in the tank. Got a new, that's a whole new assembly, okay. Cool deal. And this is where it reads. This goes up and down. And that indicates the level of the fuel. I have to say fuel, you can't say gas anymore. It's a diesel now. All right, cool deal. Let's get to taking that one off. Now, I've seen a bunch of videos on this and I see a lot of guys uh, I guess this ring, this nut right here is big. It's too tight, and they'll take and wrap like a strap around it, a ratchet strap, and they'll hit it with the hammer, and this will kind of like help take it off. I'm gonna see how hard this one's gonna be first before I try that. Uh, let's see, let's take this off. Find out how. Oh wow, found a pair of needle nose pliers, score. Okay, so naturally, in my fashion, I get the wrong part sent to me. Doesn't match up with nothing. This is, the, the lines won't even reach up together, so. I'm gonna put this back in here and send that back. Hopefully, you get my money back. Doubt it, but we'll see. Okay, well, after with some fighting, I finally got it all back together and put in. That gasket's it's a real sucker. Anyway, let's see if this is going to do anything. I doubt it. My luck is not going to work. 
I'm gonna have to go and spend the extra money. That was a bust. Oh well, I don't know what's gonna happen next. We'll see. Okay, so in DC fashion, I wasn't paying attention and I ordered the wrong fuel pump. Uh, it says on there whenever you go to look at the fuel pump, I got you know half tons, three quarter tons, blah blah blah, one ton. But I didn't even think that they have gas and diesel half tons, uh, three quarter tons and one ton. And I didn't think to check. I thought it was just like, oh, it's just universal, whatever. No, not the case. So I messed up and I got the wrong fuel pump. So what I'm gonna do is tonight, I'm gonna have Robin order me another one and wait for that one to come in and see about, I didn't contact the company about possibly returning the other one or I might sell it. I don't know, we'll see whichever one comes first. But I have another one coming. Hopefully next day or so, in a couple of days, by next week, hopefully. Which means I'm going to have to ride without a bed, because I'm not taking the bed off again just to deal with that. So I'm going to wait and ride without a bed. I've done it before, I'll do it again. So, with that, got the old trusty, trusty, heavy duty zip ties. And we're going to zip tie the tail lights, like I said in the last video. Uh... I wasn't gonna do them because I figured I would get this done today and then all I would need is some help to come after a while or tomorrow and put the bed on and then I'd be copacetic. But, hey, what do you know, it's not the case. So, I'm gonna put the zip ties on the tail lights and keep it moving, I guess. So, like I said, tonight I'll order another one, wait for it to come in, as soon as it comes in, we'll jump on that. Alrighty, well, let's do it. Just got off the phone with my buddy. That was Lawrence DeWarty, another fellow YouTuber. Y'all should go check him out, man. He's got some, some really nice videos. He just got married uh, a couple of videos back. You check mine out. He's got the same uh, on his channel. I had a video. He's got a video of his whole wedding. But uh, he's also he's a really big mini trucker, and he does a bunch of mini trucking stuff and four-wheeling stuff and family stuff. He's got a really good channel. It's, it's got a variety of different stuff. It, it pleases everybody, I, I find. Y'all should really go check him out, though. I'll put a link in the description to his channel. Uh, go peep him out. He's a really good dude. Let's see if these things work.
All right, guys, so I got the zip ties all squared away and I got the lights on nice and secure. They're not going nowhere. I got this kind of up and out the way. Nothing's dragging, as you can see. Uh, oh yeah, there you can see. Anyway, so the old fuel pump's back in. It works, it's just the indicator doesn't work so I can see how, how much is in my tank. Like I said, I'm gonna order another one tonight. I'm gonna get Robin on that. Appreciate you, babe. And uh, that should probably be in by next week, hopefully. So I'll just ride like this for a few days. No big deal. I've done it before, I'll do it again. But that's gonna conclude this video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Uh, leave a like on this video. Like if you liked it, like if you didn't like it. Hey, why not? Ain't cost you nothing. Anyway, appreciate y'all. Uh, I know I keep saying it, but listen, I'm up to 69 subscribers now. And I think that's pretty cool for just doing what I'm doing out here. And I've only been up and running for a few months, but I think that's awesome. Like I said, you got people out there with hundreds of thousands of subscribers and that's amazing. And I'm getting a phone call. Go figure. Not important. But anyway, so yeah, thanks to each every one of y'all. Uh, appreciate all the support. As always, I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace!